all right hello and welcome back it is time for me to give you some starting tips for the game and well we will start with some uh, really basic stuff well uh, pretty much after you complete the tutorial you will be greeted with this screen this is the main menu screen uh, that you will be pretty much faced most of your time and over here we see a lot of um, icons well first uh, the Japanese and Taiwanese version are upcoming and the global one will probably come after that uh, probably I'd guess after summer uh, sometime after summer and when that happens everything will be a lot more easier but we will start with the total basics so uh, once you start you are going to be greeted uh, with a structure on the bridge over here and you'll be greeted with this screen well, uh, first thing that I personally did is I tweaked out the settings to pretty much suit my own gameplay style. And then, since recently uh, they added a manual lock, it is something that uh, is really useful. And uh, I use it a lot. And it is also really important to tweak out this setting because it will give you more accuracy. And you will be able to choose your targets a lot more accurate. Here also you can adjust your screen size and aspect ratio, you can also adjust the damage numbers, your damage numbers, allied damage numbers and pretty much everything related to numbers and to lock. And of course you can switch to the automatic lock, but I don't like the automatic lock because it can be difficult at times uh, in terms of aiming. Well, um, over here we also have the layout options. You can tweak out the layout as you wish and as you like. And, of, and also this game supports controllers. At the moment X Xbox One and PS4 are supported. And you can tweak out the settings and the button, button layout for both if you like. To suit your own gaming purposes. And of course at the moment only Xbox One and PS4 are supported the controllers of course I really hope that they add more controllers into the future since this is a uh, really interesting thing that they did with the controllers and of course you can turn them on or off uh, it depends if you if you want you can use controllers which is also a really nice option to have or here we have the options I have covered that now I have two uh, sets of options sometimes I and of course this is the volume pretty much character voice, uh, game audio, master audio, stuff like that. Well, on the upper corner we see the level and over here you can see the missions that you can do. These missions are completed as you progress uh, through the game and as you upgrade your structures you'll be uh, rewarded by, uh, by completing these missions and of course achievements. It is a really nice thing to do and uh, you should try to get most of them because, well, they are pretty nice and they can help you a lot. Over here, <coughs> these, are your, these are your three main structures that you can display. At the moment I have uh, three of those and all other uh, players can see them when they look at your character or when, you, when they look at your account, they will see those three structures. Well, and of course um, you can save them and keep them that way. And on the bottom, uh, these are the emblems, they give you some special abilities and are unlocked uh, by completing certain stages in the game. I had three emblems unlocked, I have no idea why uh, is the third one locked, something happened, uh, I will have to look more into that in the future. Over here you see the level on the front, on the bottom right corners are the... Uh, redeem code which is also sometimes really important when there is a code for free stuff over here this is something that, that's been added into this update pretty much you can look at all the memories that you have and you can also uh, look at their uh, design and you can also look at their effects at their piece effects which is also a really nice addition some of these memories are rare uh, and can be served as a collection of purpose I like how uh, they put the clean design and they did a good job on the art. And this one is also uh, really touching and if you know the story you probably know what I mean. This picture over here uh, on the memory. And pretty much all memories are going to be here. 
if you had them at any point in your gaming career here they will be saved even after you salvage them or even after you uh, use them this is the weapon uh, layout pretty much where you can look at the weapons and they added awa awakening options for the weapons pretty much they can change animations as you upgrade them which I personally think looks really good and I am a fan of uh, little touches like these since this shows that the developers did truly uh, work on the game and most of the weapons have their animations which I like a lot as you can see this is the these are the machetes or daggers from Watanabe and he also has these really interesting effects and of course you can look at cannons uh, bows even force hammers uh, railguns swords, katanas, uh, pistols, uh, chainsaws even, even chainsaws are in the game. A really big variety of uh, weapon options that we have. And each of these weapons is really useful for um, the majority of characters that can use them of course. There isn't pretty much no useless weapon. Uh, you can get 5 stars easily with gacha. 6 stars are also can be obtained if you're persistent with gacha. And here you can see the different weapons, uh, not weapons, but different enemies that we have in the game. And you can also uh, look at their models, you can pretty much look at their weaknesses. Uh, you can see how much other players like or dislike them and pretty much stuff like that. For example, this character is really, uh, well, her character model is loved by the players, but... As a boss, well, I don't. I'm not, I'm not quite sure if they like her as a boss. I think they do. And of course, this boss people don't like that boss <laughs> for some reason. Although, although I'm kind of sad that they didn't include um, the top removed option, the top removed model of that boss. And on the last here, you can watch the cutscenes again. Uh, pretty much all cutscenes from chapter one to chapter chapter eleven. Included, uh, including the events and all past and future events will be saved here. Well, on to more advanced stuff. Well, once you pretty much get a hang of how everything works and looks and where everything is located, you will pretty much go here. This is these are the farming stages, and in this case, uh, this is the memory farming stage. And as you progress. Uh, you will unlock one by one as you progress in the level, as you play the story. And the rewards are also going to be increased uh, with each uh, unlocked stage over here. And the one that will give you most rewards is the last stage, but at the same time it will consume most stamina. And of course you can choose to play one, two, three or four at the time. Well, uh, what's unique to these stages is when you spawn in, you have you have these two platforms now where you go it doesn't matter the reward will be the same it pretty much depends on your structure if your structure is built for uh, for one single enemy or if it's built for a variety of enemies or multiple enemies well my character here alpha is pretty much good at dealing and doing damage to a single enemy so I did choose uh, one single boss and well, after you complete this, you will be greeted with the rewards. And the rewards can vary. Uh, sometimes you get bad RNG, sometimes you get really good memories. Most times, in most cases, you will get really good memories and it is not a big problem. Well, the second stage over here, second map, is where you farm materials for your weapons and for your memories. And they also have uh, four levels that you unlock one by one as you pretty much progress and play through the game. As you complete the stories and as you complete the missions and pretty much level up, you will unlock them one by one. Well, uh, what's unique by this is it is really uh, straightforward and you just clear uh, one wave after the another and you will get, you will be rewarded with, with materials. Well, on to the third one. Uh, this is, I think, the, the yeah, the weapon material stage, where you will farm materials for your weapons. Also, really important, since you will need those, you will need a lot of those 
to upgrade your weapons for a lot of characters of course same principle applies to this one uh, you will get better rewards as the difficulties go up and as the stages go up you will unlock them same way as you unlock the previous ones by doing missions and pretty much by leveling up and of course by playing the story stages and the hidden stages and of course most importantly your level after you complete this you will be rewarded with the materials which is also uh, pretty random first to drop is guaranteed after after that it will be random and well uh, the next one will be where we will farm the experience that you will use to upgrade your memories also really important the rewards are going to be better as you unlock the later stages really important because you will want to farm this at a uh, early stage to have your structures geared out and pretty much ready for combat for the future stuff that will be upcoming and of course for later endgame content for example war warzone pain cage and some events that are currently in the game that are really hard they will require uh, well equipped well equipped structures and of course a um, skillful play like next one is the one that will give you nuts uh, pretty much the currency in the game one of the most important stages because you will be running out of uh, money in the game uh, really easy especially if you uh, upgrade a lot of uh, a lot of memories a lot of weapons it is one of the most important uh, farming stages in the game and of course you will get more uh, more nuts as you uh, play and complete the later stages and of course you will unlock them as you level up and as you play the story hidden and portal and it is also pretty straightforward uh, you can't die here they can't damage you you just have to keep on attacking and pretty much collecting the materials uh, collecting the collecting the money and well on the last one is the sp of course uh, you will get more sp as you play the later stages and later uh, stages are unlocked by the same principle it is important to pretty much level out the skill on your characters which is also really important and should be done on a early stage since you don't want to you don't want to be a high level player with uh, high level structures but with low level skills since that is quite uh, quite painful and can be quite difficult to manage well uh, those were the farming stages and pretty much uh, stages that you should play to get stronger well uh, this is the mission screen where you can complete dailies and you will get rewarded by black cards and other rewards these are the main missions that I completed all of them but you should focus on them and to complete them they give you some really good rewards and they're quite I think they're quite generous and here uh, after you complete warzone stages and paint cage bosses you will be rewarded with black, black cards which is also quite generous and you will get plenty of them with time these are the weekly missions, you have three of them, you choose pretty much um, similar to other stages where you uh, choose three of these missions and you have to complete them and all of them have different rewards. Some of them can give you uh, premium currency which is also really useful, but most of them will give you high level and you can use those to level up really fast. They are really fun uh, and they have two phases. One phase is you clear the normal stage and second phase is the hidden or the warning stage. Well, uh, when you tap on the structure on the main menu, you can be greeted with uh, these three options. When you tap on the middle one, the change option, you will be able to change the structure that will be on the main menu. And well, in this case, I think I'll choose him. All right, let's see. Now, he will do his little intro. <laughs> really interesting intro i will use him more don't worry and then you tap again and here you'll be greeted by the statistics and pretty much hidden data voice packs and um, animations for the character here is the 
the story, the hidden story, and here you can give them gifts. And as you give them gifts, you will, you will give them more affection, and with more affection you will unlock more hidden stories, and you can play them, uh, they're really nice, they, they are well written, and they are funny, and really, really entertaining, of course, when you understand what they're saying. Uh, I will record most of them when the game gets the English version, in the future, hopefully. And, of course, each structure has their own favorite gift, but even if you don't give them their favorite gift, the, they will still uh, get their affection up really fast. This is the armory, where you pretty much look at and gear out your structures. This is also the armory, where you look at the weapons, memories, and all the other items that we have in the game. As you can see, I have a lot of gifts, let me just open all of them up. Yep, that's, that's a lot of gifts, not gonna lie, interesting. Okay, and this is the materials, pretty much, upgrade materials, these are the fragments, character fragments. And you can salvage them if you like, but I suggest that you keep them, because they are a nice addition to have in the game. Well, um, these were the pretty much some also important things, and now we are going to jump on the more serious stuff. Well, uh, this is Warzone, and this is where your main income from black cards will be, Warzone and Paint Cage. So, we have three stages, uh, at the moment we have Fire and Dark, the one on the left is Physical, Upper uh, right is Lighting, and Lower right is Ice. These are the elemental damages, and the characters that match the element will do bonus damage, mostly 20 to 30%. Well, since I'm going to play Dark stage, I will choose the Dark element character, uh, Watanabe Phoenix. Really powerful character, A rank, free to play, you can get him and farm him really easily. And, well, um, let's see. So, we have three of these maps, uh, three of these stages. And first one is the easiest, will give you 10,000 points. Second one is the mid difficulty, will give you 20,000 points. Third one, highest difficulty, and you will be limited by time. And it, um, you will have to defeat floors until you run out of time, and pretty much according to your performance, they will give you a score. Mostly skill based, uh, they account for everything, even how many times you get hit, so having a perfect run is possible, and is really advisable for the best possible score. Of course, you don't have to have high scores if you want to get black cards, doesn't matter if your uh, if your score is 300,000 and it doesn't matter if your score is only 30,000. It, it matters that you complete them. Your score will not affect your black card income. Which is a like uh, which is a really uh, good thing from the developers since that means the game is not pay to win since your score will not affect how much black cards you will get, which is really important. So, the first stage is the easiest. The second stage will have bleed effect and the enemies are going to be a little bit more difficult, uh, a little bit more tanky. We have a couple, uh, couple stages of these um, war zones. I am in the second highest category, I think in the whale category, as people like to say. Okay, well, and let's play the third stage, and let's see how... Uh, well, all these stages, of course, are looking really unique, and overall, like I said, have their own unique buffs. And in this case, uh, I am, like I said, in the dark, dark element, and the dark element will do highest damage over here, and it will give you, of course, the highest score. But that doesn't matter that you cannot clear them with any other character. You can use any team you like, any team that you at first have, since you will be able to complete them without any problems and you will get black cards. So I recommend when you first start to play the game and you start to play uh, Warzone and Pain Cage a bit more a bit more seriously, 
you can use any character you will, any team you like uh, until you get the good teams and it is pretty pretty easy to uh, find the all the good teams which i will say for uh, for another video since to, to explain that uh, i i literally need 30 more minutes <laughs> because we have uh, a lot of team combinations that i want to cover and we have also a lot of tactics that i want to cover all of them uh, are really interesting and all of them are really unique for for any character that we have in the game and as you can see uh, i am clearing the floors really fast well really fast really fast for my standard uh, i could play and be faster of course your rank is uh, also something that is really important and after this uh, i'll talk about uh, the paint cage which is uh, which is really important uh, paint cage is one of the most important aspects in the game in terms of character progression since you will get you will get access to the um, character fragments there and you will be able to buy fragments and upgrade your characters uh, one by one now i would suggest that you get all characters on the s rank or double s rank at least to make them really powerful and of course you should farm in the meantime farm memories farm weapons and farm affixes to affix your memories and weapons of course well, um, that was the war zone. Pretty easy, pretty, uh, pretty fun, pretty fun, and pretty a fair challenge, since you don't have to be really competitive to get the reward. And well, here you have the rewards for playing them, of course, which is also helping you level up, and it gives you SP and stuff like that. Well, this is the pain cage where you will be meeting three bosses. They reset weekly, of course and each of their bosses has their own weaknesses and strengths and each of, their bo of these bosses have some lineups that will work better than others but again you don't have to play competitively to get the black cards it matters that you complete them and of course they have several difficulties judging from, from the weakest difficulty to the health difficulty which is uh, also the highest one and all of them like I said they have their different buffs, bonuses and you also get score according to how fast you clear them and of course the way you clear them if you manage to pull a no hit run you will have, you have a higher score than someone who spends for example 1 minute while, taking, while being hit so skill matters a lot in uh, in warzone well then um, i think i explained pretty much most stuff for the for this first part uh, i might have missed something uh, i'll definitely look into that forward in the future for the next video I'll, if i missed anything i will cover that up i will cover it in the i will cover it in the next video and overall um, that was it for the first part definitely a really interesting game where we have uh, a lot of stuff to do now even though uh, but first you should definitely focus on the main story on the character story and after that you can jump on the more difficult stuff for example the um, f for example the strongholds and pretty much uh, like I said there is a, a really interesting oh I almost forgot the gacha well the gacha here is really generous uh, you have three of these banners first one is the normal one uh, you get a a rank guaranteed you can choose your own uh, write up and the second and third one will be write ups for new characters and old characters you will have a 70% chance to get them which, which is a really high chance and usually people get what they want really fast well um, I think it's time for me to pull uh, some something. Let's see if I get lucky. I'll be, I'll be. It will be really interesting if I get, for example, if I get a six-star weapon or something. We will see. Well, for the character gacha, you also can get memories, uh, which I usually use for up upgrade materials, and of course uh, that is pretty okay. And let's see for the for the weapon. Now each of these have their own currencies, which you can convert using your black cards 
and let's see if we do weapon. Let's see what will happen <laughs> if I get a six star weapon. And yep, I did get a six star weapon. Well, that was that was easy. Hadn't pulled this in in a very long time, actually. Well, that was interesting. We're definitely going to take a look at that weapon when the time comes. So, uh, that was the gacha part. Uh, really generous, really fair. So far, no problems. They have they have fixed it. Uh, now the rates are accurate, and, the, the, and they match the description, of course. Well then, um, this was it for the first part. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope that this was helpful. And well, in the next part, we will be covering. I'll be covering the lineups, teams, and pretty much tactics in the game. Well, with that being said, hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Take care.